what's going on YouTube fam today I want to show you guys the tie-dye women's Jordan ones before I hop into the review and go over the kicks if you are new to my channel uh, first time stumbling across a video of mine do me a huge favor head to my YouTube channel check out some of my other material and other videos that I made uh, also hit that subscribe button click that notification bell that way you could be notified anytime i toss up any new material any new videos and stuff like that uh if you're on social media any of the social media platforms you know instagram twitter snapchat all that stuff that they have out i'm um, pretty much on all of them uh same username give me a follow at i am tmcii um if you enjoy the video just got some comments want we'll to chop it up just want toss me a comment down at the bottom i usually reply back to you guys or at least like you guys comments when you drop comments so go ahead drop me a comment down at the bottom and lastly if you wouldn't mind go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for me let me know you enjoy the video so i could keep pumping out material and doing videos like this for you guys uh so not all that intro stuff out the way let's go ahead and go over the shoes really quick uh as you can see he's not laced up like i normally do because this isn't my pair these are actually a uh, a women's pair. This is a, a size eight in women's. So I uh, had a cousin of mine who was able to scoop these up and they let me borrow them just to do a video and show you guys. So um, they went up to extended sizes. I know a lot of guys also scoop these up too. Um, they're not that bad, you know, seeing them in person. You know, this uh, wouldn't be in a women's shoe. This little wings logo kind of tiny on here. Uh, and you don't have the regular style laces that you would normally get on your laces other than that uh the material on his it's a weird material i'm not sure what this upper is made out of like you can see i, I could stroke it and and like you could it, it's it's like a, a painted leather i'm not sure what this is it kind of feel like a fabric then it feels like a leather also um not sure what this is made out of the toe box is a it's a decent leather decent grain leather on this toe box right here it's not too not too horrible not bad uh, all in all i think it's a dope shoe especially for for, for women you know seem like jordan brand even coming hard lately with some women's shoes um and i think it's dope you know see like when i rub on here if you guys can see that see it kind of it kind of distresses a little bit when i do that so it feels painted I'm not sure exactly what that material is you guys drop me a comment down at the bottom let me know what that material is on here um, but other than that, it's a typical Jordan 1 silhouette. Uh, it's, a, it's a high, just like all the other ones, not a mid. Uh, the inside sock liner has like a like a neoprene, some kind of fabric material in the sock liner in here. Um, nothing else too spectacular or different about it. Uh, let me see me come around to the front on here. No, um, no extra laces or anything like we would normally get with some of the Jordan ones. Just uh, just one set of laces that came in that you see right here. Um, and far as sizing wise on female ones to men ones, you usually just add a size and a half. So like if you were a size 10 in men, you would need a size 11 and a half in women. And the same way to convert backwards. You know, if you was a men, if you was a man size, you wanted women size the same, same way you just, uh, you just you just adding or subtracting a size and a half to convert your size from men to women and vice versa so these are the kicks um just want to show you guys everything i won't be able to toss these on feet because like i said these are not mine i would need a size 11 and women which is equivalent to men's nine and a half i could fit 11 and a half so i could do a size 10 or 10 and a half in uh in my jordan ones but here's the the color code product number retail was 170 on these came in a red box instead of the black box seemed like we've been getting the red box a lot lately i thought it was just gonna be with that fear pack stuff the fearless release but seemed like they just been giving us the red box whenever they feel like it um this leather on the side on here is uh it's a okay leather it's not the best leather is almost almost like that plasticky feel leather um but it's still not horrible like i said it's still a dope shoe at the end of the day and I, I think these are real fly for especially for the females and they, i've seen some guys been able to rock them and pull them off and make them look real nice on feet as well so i won't blabber and run my mouth too too much man this is it for the video thank you guys for watching and like i said head to my channel check out some of my other material some of other videos that i have on my channel thank you guys i appreciate you peace